Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here. I'm back with another Shadowgun Legends video and we got a guest today on the channel. It's Marek from Mad Finger Games. What's up, Marek? Hey, Johnny. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing, man? Long time. Uh, well, uh, we are getting ready for update 094 and of course other feature updates and uh, Shadowgun board games and so on. All right, so we'll jump into a game. We'll talk, yeah. we'll talk event, we'll talk update and maybe after okay. that a bit about the future of Shadowgun Legends? Sure. All right, let's jump into a game. Let's do it. Here we go, boys. We got some Silver Arena action with Alpha Mind and Marek. Let's start with Shadowgun Legends and the uh, upcoming event because we're recording this. Today is Monday, so we're expecting a new Shadowgun event. Maybe Thursday, right? Yeah, there will be a new event coming Thursday, uh, and it will be. I shared some uh, some basic information about it on uh, our stream. Uh, the name is Blasters of Rock, and it's a like a summer music festival event with organized by Sara. Uh, so uh, yeah, two weeks event starting Thursday. It's a variation of of a uh, name there is a uh, big music festival in czech okay. republic called called masters of rock okay. which is like heavy metal and so on okay. uh so i think that there is the the similarity there nice so you said it's gonna start thursday it's gonna last for two weeks yeah and it's pve it's gonna be mainly pve yeah all right mainly I think there is some yeah i think there is some also pvp uh missions Included, but the main focus is on arenas and dungeons. All right, or so dungeons and arenas in that order, I would say. Okay, so a bit of everything, yeah, but yeah, yeah. not just dungeons or not just arenas. All yeah. right, anything else? Like, what can we expect? Uh, the, the format is gonna be like missions that we claim and we do and we get the rewards. So uh, it will be also changing uh, during those two weeks because first week uh, you will be uh, completing missions and uh, you, for those missions you will get uh, tokens and of course some other rewards. But the second week we will start dropping also uh, tokens in, in uh, those missions d directly during the gameplay. All right. So you will be able to collect tokens and uh, we are in reintroducing uh, stuff for tokens then you, where you can buy, let's say, uh, ca camos and, and stuff like that. So you can buy a uh, higher amount of them. Okay, uh, so like if you end, end the... Uh, yeah, if, yeah. You're, if you got everything, you, you can still do something with your tokens. Like your extra tokens, you can spend them and buy a bunch of camos. Right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah, so... I think yeah, I think you were a fan of that uh, from yeah. what I saw from previous uh, events. So yeah, we are. Yeah, uh, but not again. just me, but a lot of people. Of whenever there are tokens, and we get stuck with hundreds of tokens at the end, people like they they get frustrated because they say, "What's yeah, yeah, the yeah. point of grinding?" Then we're stuck with the token. So it's good to have camels or something like the Christmas event for, for like the New Year's event was perfect for that because we could yeah. buy a bunch of Christmas presents with the extra tokens. So that's sure. awesome. Looking forward awesome. to that. Um, anything else? Uh, any surprise new weapons? Uh, legendaries? I don't know. There will be. I don't think there is a new weapon. Uh, I'm quite sure there is not the new weapon, uh, but there will be a uh, cool new cosmetic for uh uh for like your back uh, uh dude you, you talk too much i think i know already <laughs> yeah okay oh man uh, if, <laughs> i got so an we'll idea <laughs> we'll, we'll see we'll see you can guess uh i will not confirm nor okay. deny let me guess uh, okay i think an instrument on your back yeah, I will not confirm nor deny. <laughs> Easy. Okay, we'll see. One more thing, we will be also reintroducing a lot of like cool cosmetic stuff that we will, we we will put into a sale. So you can buy also cool stuff for golds, and uh, yeah, that will be uh, that will that will be there. And also uh, uh, in second week of the event, we will be. Uh, uh, there will be a higher drop rate for some legendaries uh, 
and in certain dungeons and arenas wow we wow. we will be uh, introducing for players that might not have them already uh there will be emotes dropping uh there will be what emotes will be dropping in oh, okay. uh, certain dungeons and arenas uh there will uh, there, there won't be new emotes uh with this event but uh it's like a new no. kind of i reward, understand right? so yeah okay. some emotes only drop in certain dungeons and you will increase the drop rates for for the new players that don't have them right yeah yeah yeah. Uh, that's interesting uh, so, yeah let's move on to the update then yeah so, let's do it so you say so, we can expect uh 094 uh yeah we have uh we want to submit 094 as soon as possible uh, because there are certain uh uh limits uh time limits that we need to uh, you know uh, hold and uh so i think we you could expect 094 to drop uh next week um the event uh the the update itself it will contain we are trying to push the latest changes to capture the flag map there that's what might uh, interest the community again i was talking about that on the stream uh we have decided to introduce two uh to, to uh, holes leaving from the spawn point. So basically that should help uh, players to, to get out of the situation when so someone is spawn camping them. Yeah, I think so, that's the whole point, right? Right yeah. now balancing capture the flag and trying to do as much as possible to eliminate that behavior. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so basically when you spawn after, after you revive, uh or respawn uh in the main uh, in the room where you spawn there will be two exits one directly to the main room and second will be going a bit somewhere else okay. that's gonna be also on the second point so basically four exits uh four possible exits so not really players should not be able to cover all of them so you should be able to okay so if people uh, are, are camping in your spawn you can just go somewhere else yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's very interesting. Uh, there are also um, some items that we need to get there with this version uh, for future updates. I'm uh, for future, sorry, not updates, but events. I'm not able to uh, spoil too much, but we are cooperating with some brands and there will be cool new stuff coming into the game for for all players. Let's but say. you talking like cosmetics? uh yes mainly cosmetics but maybe also some weapons uh so each of uh both of each so so yeah. you you mean license license lens licensing you you work with some brands to have the rights to use license to put stuff in your game right uh yeah let's kind do of... that and we will we will share more when we are ready to share more i understand yeah i got i got an idea though <laughs> Yeah, there are cool things coming, so um, we are looking forward to that for All sure. Right, super exciting. But okay, yeah. so really soon, 094 capture the flag, and then you expect anything between 94 and 10? Uh, we will see if there will be a need for uh, like tech update. You know, sometimes when we release an update, there are some difficulties for sure. So it will depend. Uh, currently, we are not planning 95 but uh stuff might change for sure and then so we're thinking maybe content update would be one zero right if you're gonna introduce new content to the game yeah uh update with new stuff will be 1.0 uh and that as we said will be sometimes in october uh so we need you know a bit more time to to prepare everything um we will be uh, looking into possibilities what we can really introduce and what what not uh we have a few plans one of the uh few of those were already like talked about the, the name plates uh the custom rooms um you know some maybe some changes and improvements to pvp maps uh of course new cosmetics and so on but also we are introducing uh or we are working on something that might introduce new ways uh new types of missions maybe like a longer quests um don't want to say don't want to say too much about it 
but uh, again, it could be something new and interesting uh, working with uh, some cool missions that we have in the game. But something uh, we, like something like multiple like raids or something. Um, it could be it could be playable in co-op. It's more more towards like a let's not call it chain quest, but uh, more missions that are tied together with uh, with with better lore and ending on something really cool with maybe cool reward. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep it at that. <laughs> All right. So I know people will have some question about name plates or you call it titles earlier but it's something that you can collect right by doing stuff you earn the titles and you can yeah. you can display them yeah that's generally the idea so uh again we are still working the working out the exact design and if we are able to get it to 1.0 and so on uh but yeah it would be like a collectible item that you would see some other player and he would have uh, you know, some like um, cool title that he managed to beat Hive Mind a thousand times and yeah. so on. It might yeah, be that's really to... nice. People like to collect stuff and show their achievements and it's awesome. Exactly, exactly. One more thing for 9.4, there will be, uh, we are working on an another cosmetic, full body cosmetic uh, that's derived from the inner bundle. For now it's the Emperor bundle, so it will be yeah it will change to the full body cosmetic and it will nice. it will look a bit differently but it's gonna be still awesome it's funny because we were talking about it yesterday on stream people were asking about the bundles if they were all cosmetics now and we said the anniversary bundle is probably never gonna be because the idea was it was gonna be removed right because it's an anniversary bundle uh, yeah, it was introduced for the first uh, first anniversary, but uh, it is still there and we might still use it. We re really like the look of it, so we'll see. So sometimes these decisions are, you know, there are different types of cosmetics in the game and we, we like to experiment with them. So I'm not quite sure what's going to be next for, let's say, this bundle. Yeah. Like the Scarlet bundle, what you did is you took a, a like low level set and you mm -hmm. made you made a bundle out of it that's yeah, really yeah. really nice and people were also wondering are you gonna do the other sets like uh i don't know uh, i really like the caterpillar set for example you think there's any chance you might do some of these sets as uh, full body cosmetics in the future yeah we, we like them as well uh, they they look really cool so i think there is a big chance uh it all of it depends on how people actually buy buy those items in the yeah. end and and what are the results right right like it's the uh was like the starter bundle yeah uh the the i i like that uh armor the most right now i'm running with it yeah yeah you're wearing uh, it right now so so it's like it's super techy i like that so yeah people are calling for it and we delivered and and people seem to like it so really there is there is always a uh like chance of, of stuff getting into into the game nice uh, in th this way for sure all right we're almost done we are done congrats we beat the nice. boss and let's hope for nice. legendary yeah let's see all right let's see good luck no one legendary you got one and i got i got the shotgun uh by the way this uh the, the long um like return screen uh, I hope that I think it should be uh, we should have a skip button either in 9.4 or, or white 1.0 I think that's the way to do it <laughs> people have been so, asking since day yeah, one right as soon yeah, as you introduce the the return scene all right so once again GG good game and before we end this video maybe we can talk a little bit about the future of Shadowgun Legends anything you can tell us I will ask questions you answer if you can you don't answer yes, if you can't. I will, I will, I will try. <laughs> but I'll, t I'll tell you right now, okay? Every day, every stream, people come to my stream and they ask about the Fort Planet. All right? And then something's, uh, something is running around the internet. There's an article that's been posted about Madfinger Games and the exciting year 2019 coming. And lots of great things coming in 2019. And they talk about the uh, War Games release. But they also talk about the Fort Planet release in... 
okay. 2019. Okay, so um, I know people like were sometimes fed up with this argument, but uh, I'm gonna start big brother, bit, bit brother. Uh, we are still ending the studio. We have limited amount of people uh, that can work on on stuff or games, uh, um, older games that trigger unkilled. You know when we are releasing updates and so on. So there is certain prioritization. We want to for sure create content for. Uh, the red planet and we have few cool ideas uh, that will be a lot of that will bring a lot of cool things for the end game players so it's not going to be probably just like you will run through the rest of the story and then will be, be, be then people will be waiting for the fifth planet so we want to do it uh, differently but we need to prototype it and we need to prepare everything uh I think there is like a 90% chance that that is not gonna it's not gonna be this year and we are sorry about that but we again want to release stuff when it's ready so uh, I can say I guess hopefully no one will fire me for that uh, no fourth planet this this year uh, but it's high on our priority list so uh, soon next year there should be a uh, planet uh, sorry update that will uh, bring uh, stuff to uh, fourth planet. But I hear the voice of the community, and it's not even one voice. Some guys yeah. say we need a fourth planet, but some other guys say we want them to just make the game run smooth first, fix the bugs, and take your time and bring the new content later when you're ready. So it's it's not we one are, voice, you know. We are always trying to. Uh, make sure that 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 th both of those sides get at least something mm -hmm. because yeah we can introduce new content and so on but when a new player comes to the game and uh what you call let's say onboarding the first few missions and everything when player gets really invested into the game uh, if that's broken there won't be any players in the end so True. we need to we need to make sure that both sides of of that are are covered I understand. And so we need to prioritize some th sometimes, and and sometimes it, it it results in let's say fourth planet being later. But when the fourth planet update comes out, it's gonna be awesome. I can right. promise that. Thank you for the honest answer. Really, that's what we like. Like, say what you have to say. Be honest, and people will deal with it, right? Yeah. Uh, sure. Next up is people asking: Are we ever gonna have another dungeon or arena? um i think so i think so i'm again not sure if 2019 but uh, we we are looking into these things for sure if we introduce a new arena it should be different it should be something new and it should not be just like grinded over and over and over again just so players get their legendaries there yeah. should be a reason for it so again uh, there probably won't be like a platinum arena that will look the same will have just harder enemies that's what we are mm. that's not something that we are trying to do there may be arena in a new environment with new concepts and uh, these things so sure yeah we want to introduce a new high level uh, gameplay scenarios and like the end game stuff, but it should not be. Um, it should be. It could. It should be different in a way. Last question is about per career roll or the infusion system. When the infusion system was released, we said, well, we heard the infusion system will grow in the future. For now, infusion system is for leveling up players, but when they're maxed, there's nothing else. Uh, and they, they earn materials now. So we say keep your materials and don't sell your legendaries. Instead, you should disassemble to get more materials because in the future, you'll be happy you have your materials. Do you have any plans at the moment for infusion system, perk reroll, and using your yeah. materials? From what I saw on, on plans for the future, we for sure have like with plenty of exclamation marks, we have a, a infusion system to be improved. We for sure want to give players a reason to have all these materi materials, not in 1.0 for sure, uh, but in future updates, we 
hundred percent want to focus on uh, improving the infusion system. So that would be it for me. Before we end this okay. video, do you have any one last scoop you want to say? One last thing for the viewers? Uh, I would say uh, like thank you for for playing and thank you for being with us because it's a uh, we know that the game is not uh, without troubles, but uh, we really love the game and uh we know that we are doing something that no one else does and we are super grateful for the community that we have so thank you that's awesome thank you so much for taking your time it's really thank really you. appreciated and i uh, hope i'll see you again on the channel in the near future yeah for sure thank you for having me and have a good day thanks <laughs> peace